Welcome to Mr. Math Academy, Grow Your Math Brain. Hello students, welcome to Mr. Math Academy. So in this video, uh, let me explain question number 6. Already we have explained question number 1 to 5. So let us go for the question number 6. As soon as possible, we will finish this chapter so that we can go for the next chapter. So what is the question is given? Name the types of type of quadrilateral. See, uh, there are three questions are there. One I will solve, remaining two are same only. You try yourself. If you find any difficulty, put it in the comment box so that I will go for that. Okay, next. So what I have given? Name the type of quadrilateral. Which type of quadrilateral we have to find? See, uh, very first I would like to tell, in quadrilateral means, okay, quadri means for lateral means, okay, lateral means, how many four sided figure quadri means four lateral means side okay four sided figure however it might be so these are all quadrilaterals so we have, we have to tell whether it is how many quadrilaterals are there uh, square is there rectangle is there rhombus is there uh, trapezium is there okay different types of uh, quadrilaterals are there so we have to tell which type of quadrilateral exactly it is so for that, after solving that, I will tell that property, then I'll uh, go for it, okay? So first, what, what is there? Uh, points they have given, okay? Uh, just as you simply, I'll draw on the quadrilateral, okay? So for our reference, I'll call it as A, B, C, D. Cyclically only, we have to write like this or like this, okay? So this point they have given as, write it as minus 1, comma 2. This point write as 1, comma 0. This point write it as minus 1, comma 2 and this point write it as minus 3 comma 0 i have written points now so what what we have to do means just we have to find the distance between this 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 okay all distance we have to find length in the sense in uh, inversely uh, indirectly we, i am telling about the distance we have to find for these points that means this length so what is the formula we have to use we have to use the distance formula then definitely we will get uh, uh, distance between or uh, dis distance of all the sides after that we have to do one more uh, important point as well i'll tell later let us go ahead with that first what we will do now let us find distance of this one okay so i will write it as d1 is equal to root of d1 is now distance distance between these two points a and b so total the, this length will become so root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this is the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this is the formula so let us find this distance so let me write this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 so what will happen now i will write here x2 how much 1 minus x1 x1 how much minus 1 see two signs should not be next to each other so put the bracket here and close it put the square so plus y2 how much y2 is 0 minus y1 how much y1 is 2 whole square so what will happen now we'll see so 1 minus into minus bracket represents into so minus into minus plus 1 whole square plus this one is as 2 to the 4 directly i will write it off okay minus into minus plus 2 to the 4 so this is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 to the 4 it will become totally root 8 okay if you are getting confused i'll write uh, separately only okay 1 plus 1 2 2 2 square 2 to the 4 plus 4 which is equal to root 8 root 8, root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 units okay uh, i'll tell you here 2 4 is a 8 2 2 is a 4 so 8 is equal to 2 square into 2 pairing them and writing okay if it is under root what will happen this one and this one will get cancelled 2 will come out this number and this root it will be as it is so that is the reason root 8 are written as 2 root 2 okay uh, now I got this value. Let us go to find distance to okay. for to find the distance between these two points. I'll write it. I'll write here uh, the points one comma zero and one comma zero and minus one comma two. These are the 
points. I'll write it as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, I'll write like that. So what will happen now? D2 is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Same formula. Okay. So we will write here quickly. X2 means how much? Minus 1. This minus as it is. X1 how much? 1 whole square. Then plus y2 how much? 2 minus y1 how much? y2 minus y1. y1 how much? 0. So square as it is. So what will happen? Minus 1 minus 1 totally minus 2. Remember don't uh, don't say that minus into minus plus because it, there is no into just we have to add it minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 0 is 2 whole square that's all <coughs> so now remember minus 2 whole square is nothing but minus 2 into minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 to the 4 okay directly I'll write 4 4 plus 2 to the 4 same as root 8 that implies 2 root 2 so you are getting it. So what I am going to tell you means from here to here same length 2 root 2. From here to here same length 2 root 2. Let us go for the point D and C. Okay. Uh, what are those points? I will consider this D and C minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 2 minus 1 comma 2 okay let me write as x1 y1 and x2 y2 this is x1 y1 x2 y2 you can write for this also x1 y1 this one x2 y2 okay you can write uh, you will get answer correct only we can write no need uh, no need to worry so that we have to write for this one only as x1 y1 no okay so let us go to write we will call this as d3 distance 3 Okay, d3 is equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. x2 how much? Minus 1 minus x1 how much? Minus 3. See, two signs should not come next to each other. So, put the bracket then square it off. <coughs> next, plus y2 how much? y2 is 2 y1 how much 0 whole square so what will happen now minus 1 minus into minus plus 3 whole square plus 2 whole square because 2 minus 0 is 2 only so plus 3 minus 1 is plus 2 whole square in the sense just 2 square plus 2 square so 2 2 is 4 plus 2 2 is 4 root 8 in the sense 2 root 2 units so what you got now this length also same this length also same this length also same now finally we have to find this so I'll erase uh, this one now I'll erase this one so let us find <coughs> AD now points I'll write it as minus 1 comma 2 here and minus 3 comma 0 these points are written here so that uh, we can write separately I'll call this as x1 y1 x2 y2 so let me simplify it x2 how much minus 3 x1 how much minus 1 see Again, two sign you got, so put the bracket, then it so whole square we have to write plus y2 how much? 0, y1 how much? 2. Okay, we are almost uh, completing the problem now. See, minus 3, minus into minus plus 1 whole square, then minus 2 whole square as it is. So, what will happen now? Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So minus 2 whole square plus this minus 2 whole square as it is I'll write so that in the next step I'll write correctly. So minus into minus plus 2 2 is a 4 as usual 4 this is also 4 which implies root 8 
which implies two root two units. So what does it mean? So figure is not like this exactly. So I'll write figure because all two root two only two root two two root two everything. So I'll let me change the figure like. Okay. Figure is like this now. Imagine this is a square. Why does a square means all sides are equal now? Now there is a two possibilities. If all the sides are equal, there is a chance of getting rhombus and square. See, if all the sides are same, then it is rhombus also. If all the sides are same, then it must it it will be square also. So what is the condition? We have to identify whether it is a rhombus or a square. Just we have to find the diagonal. This length and this length we have to find. If diagonals are different value, then definitely it is a rhombus. If diagonals are same, okay, both the diagonals are same, then obviously it is a square. So let us go to find the distance between these two. Means uh, diagonal. It is not uh, plus. It is minus. Okay, remember this is minus. For uh, when we solve that time, no. If it is a uh, Positive, negative. We are getting two root two only. So uh, let me change it here. It is minus. Okay, it is minus. Let me write x two how much minus one. This is minus x one how much minus one. See same two signs are there. Put the bracket now square bracket. You put it here square. Now y two how much y two is two minus y one how much y one is minus two. See two same sign. Put the bracket now here. Put the square bracket. And whole square. So what will happen now? Minus one, minus into minus plus one, whole square. Two minus into minus plus two whole square. Now what will happen? This one will get cancelled. Plus one minus one. So two plus two, four whole square, which implies this one and this one will get cancelled. Four units. In the sense, one diagonal is four. Okay, this one. This value is uh, how much? Four units. Now let us find this one. Okay, let me erase this. This is not. Uh, this is not d two. This is d five. Now let us go to find d six. D six. I am finding. So values I have to write right. D six, which are the these two. Minus three comma zero one comma zero, minus three comma zero one comma zero. That to negative or positive, positive. I return. See, minus one comma minus three comma zero one comma zero minus three comma zero one comma zero. Let us find x two how much one minus x one how much minus three two sign same. Next. Two sign next to each other means we have to put the bracket. Remember, okay? Uh, y two how much zero minus y one how much zero? All square. So zero is neglect. Zero only. No need to worry, bother about that. Minus minus into minus plus three whole square, which implies three plus one four whole square. This one and this one will get cancelled. So three minus four units. So what type of figure we got? Let me draw here. See. All the sides are equal. That is two root two, two root two, two root two, and two root two units. Okay, diagonal how much? This diagonal and this diagonal both are same. How much? Four units. This is also four units. This is also four units. Hence, uh, <coughs> A B C D, which implies A B C D is a um, square. Why it is a square? You have to write all the sides are equal. All the sides are equal. Um, that is uh, two root two units, and diagonals four units. Both the diagonals are same. All the sides are uh, two root two. Hence, one points. Represents a square. 
ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ यू हैव एनी डाउट इफ यू आर अनेबल टू सॉल्व इट पुट इट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल लुक इन टू दैट एंड आई विल सॉल्व इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो